Well, we are here to uh, discuss issues related to African development and specifically on uh, women and also youth. It's important to discuss youth employment because in the next decade we're going to see an enormous growth in the number of youth as compared to the rest of the population and there are no jobs for those youth. I was very uh, happy to hear uh, Myra say uh, we need to take a gender lens and look more at, at context and heterogeneity among women entrepreneurs to understand exactly why women succeed or fail uh, in entrepreneurship. Include is one of the five knowledge platforms that was established by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in 2012 um, and really aiming to bridge the gap between research and policy. The idea behind the meeting today was to bring that knowledge into the policy discussion and to have policymakers and practitioners discuss on how they can use that in their daily work. I find it to be a very invigorating opportunity for sharing ideas because I think any solution will come from the ideas you talk about. The letter on uh, inclusive development of Minister Plumen is a very useful basis um, for policies finally focusing on both uh, women and uh, youth, but we really need a concerted effort right now in order to put those uh, recommendations and those policy ideas into practice. We shouldn't look at it as one side fit all for young people. We should look at entrepreneurship as one of the tools to address youth employment challenges in Africa. And we complement it with other kind of interventions. If women have a health insurance or they can send their children to school, uh, it will change their risk behavior and they will um, create more opportunities for entrepreneurship. Among the knowledge gaps that are most essential to address, I think one is the shift from transitioning women from subsistence to high earning, high productive activities. We are here to ask and challenge people here in the room to respond to the questions, the key questions of the day. We just started and the harvest of the leaves uh, is beautiful, people really like it. It was a very interesting experience where indeed the different stakeholders, so researchers and policy makers, shared their perspectives. In very many cases they, they also do agree and they think along the same lines. Um, and I think that's also the, the, the idea behind the knowledge platform, is to really connect those two different communities. If we keep to the values that have united humankind, I think we will be on the right track. And those values are the ones that must be the base of any thinking we have. Then we'll be on the right track.